as soon as we like talk and depart and do our like exchanges of money from the chest and all that, I'm just gonna head down the path this way, um, back over to the place where we'd planned the chapel, and she's gonna start doing some just like basic, like forestry stuff, plotting out like where we can get the resources, making little blueprint plans, that sort of thing, just like getting the whole picture set up so that. You know, a much more clear idea is had, and then whenever that's done, just sort of taking a breather in the forest, honestly. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, Larry. Um, do you happen to know anyone who knows mending? M- mending? Uh, uh, yes, uh, so my... that's, not a, that's not a fashion choice. Uh, no, no, it's, no, it's not. Uh, I thought you were trying to make like a new statement or something. Ah, oh, last I remember, I'm pretty sure Vezrin knows mending. Uh, oh, good. Otherwise, him and Rubitan both might be able to make masks if that's what you're looking for. Noted. If mending does not work, I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Larry? Yep. That's Could me. I possibly do a currency exchange with you? Depends on how much. I pull, go into my bag of holding and I plop a mountain of silver. Oh, for the love of Palo. I have been accumulating silver quite. Uh, uh, there's, there's about. Uh, seven, it's about 1700 pieces here. 1780. So 1780, yes? Yes, I'd like to convert that to gold if possible. Oh, why do you hate me? I don't hate you. If it's too much of a bother, I can go elsewhere. Hang on, let me just look to see how much I have. I do believe that this translates to about uh, 178 gold. Larry's just in the corner looking at his pile of 3,000 silver like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a chest open and then you know, he's also like sifting through a bag and it's just like, oh. oh. At most, I could give you 80, I'm sorry. 80 gold? That'd be, yeah. that'd be perfectly fine. Yep. Uh, here you go, then that'd be uh, 800 silver from my mouth's not Your correct. math is correct, 800 silver to 80 gold. There you go. Uh-huh. So are you going to go get a room as well, or are you talking I... up for other things? I might go out and walk around a bit, in right. a while. Yes, yes, uh, it is getting pretty late, so do try to not overdo it. We don't need anyone being a tired grandmother. He, like, looks at the door, you know, that Aisha left for a while ago. <laughs> and I would head, I would head towards Vezrin. All right, we're, we're all going to Vezrin. <laughs> Except oh. for these Lord two. Lord Vezrin Lord. Rose Gathering. <laughs> she just knocks on the door. It's open! Uh, it's, you don't have to knock. Dune, now. Not Dune. Miss Sophia, how can I, Lord Vesman Rose Blossom, help you? Is everything alright? I was wondering if you would be willing to hold on to an item for me. Hold on to an item? It's not magical or anything, it's just. dear to my heart, and we've been running into a lot of lava recently, and I've really not as a. Really would like it to not melt. All right, I can do that for you. Uh, any way I can help? I will pull out a little signet ring I have. Wait a minute, I know this one. Oh, you're related to to them, yes? Oh wait, no, that might be oh before your time. How old are you again, dear? Twenty-three. Oh my, you are quite a young one. Oh yes, I probably yes, ran into- Yes, I made that myself. I... I don't believe I've run into uh, you before then, but I could have very well... Either your parents or maybe you even your grandparents. Hmm. If you met anyone. It's possible. I mean, I was around whenever the... <clears throat> when the voting happened. It's also entirely possible I ran into your parents or your grandparents. If they were around at the time. They were around. We did not have... Things changed when we got to the Underdark. 
from what I know. Yes, I... I still am very sorry about that. Uh, but I can hold on to this for you, yes. Is there anything else I can help you with, Miss Avivia? Wait. Hmm. Now that I say that I'm, uh... Hmm. Well, that can't be right, can it? Hoping nobody would notice. Listen, it's been stressful out here, and <laughs> uh, I'll be completely I'll honest. For a while. Uh, uh, I'll be completely honest. I um, <clears throat> I have a nervous tick. You see, if you didn't notice it, uh, I feel like it's pretty obvious though at this point. I start to tend to shout my own name. Yes, I did notice that. Yes, I um. <clears throat> It's a nervous tick. I, you see, uh, back in the day, I wasn't as... I still not. <laughs> she would beat my ass if I lied, and uh, I would very much not like it if she hurt me again. <clears throat> um, I'm not very good at speaking for myself, usually, so I had someone do that for me. My best friend used to do that for me all the time, and if I ever started to get anxious or any of that stuff, I would start... Talking like a pompous asshole, as you know. Uh, don't you know who I am? I'm Lord Vezen Rose Blossom type deal. You sound like that because you're nervous. Yes. My parents weren't always the best. I don't blame you. But interesting name. I won't pry on it. I feel like that would be rude. And I. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Uh, he pulls out a small box from underneath this counter, also made of adamantine, and flips it open, gently places your ring in there, and locks it before putting the key in a little pocket underneath his cloak. Cool. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, I don't think so, but thank you. Oh, sure. If you want, you can... Me either. I'm going to go sleep for like 12 hours now. Oh goodness, um, was it that stressful? And it, it was so hot. I, I don't know if it's noon this time, but you don't have to knock. Um, oh, um, okay, hello. Oh, one of these times, I will get it right. She used to be the only one that would knock, but then again, I guess I do understand. It is. Later in the evening. I was not sure if this was your house or not. I, I mean, technically, I do also sleep here. I, I have a bedroom. It's uh, actually over that way, uh, through the huh. that door there and there. Uh, okay, well, um, I was... Don't you think it hours? Thank you, you two. That does make me realize I should get a sign made. Oh, you're welcome. Also, are you doing a fashion statement, Oleander? Uh, so, I would... I was informed that you know mending. Is that accurate? I do indeed know mending. Uh, I huh. assume then it's for that. Y yes. Um. The oh well. Ah, there she goes. What? <laughs> oh. Um. I was wondering if you wanted your um <laughs> scarf oh, back. You can hang on to it until you come back. Hopefully your okay. mask is fixed. I will. I will find your room then. All right, uh, see you then. Anyway, um, hello, yes, uh, my mask broke. Um, I have, I have many of the pieces. He kind of like scatters some pieces on the oh. ground, or on, on table. Ooh, all right, this may take a while. Uh, 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 that's all right. And I'll need the mask. Uh, if you need a loan or temporarily. Um, oh, and then... It take me, like, ten minutes, uh, otherwise? Um, I can sit... Can I sit in another room? I... Yes, I... I trust you, um... Let's see... Most people coming through that way... I mean, there is the other room there, or you could also just... Oh, no, I doubt you would want someone walking up on you. I was going to say you could sit in my little... Uh, garden, but I doubt you'd want that. It would... I, I would prefer if no one see my face. Yes, I, I figured as much with how well you have that wrapped around yourself. I figured something is up. Uh, yes, uh, Veer, Veer gave it to me. She saw that it was 
broken. It was, uh, it was very kind. She's a very kind woman, from what I can see. Yes, yes, she is. Uh, ah. You can wait in there. The drapes are easily pulled. Ah, Plus, okay. it's Thank you. not where people typically walk. All right. Oleander I can wait here until you are ready. Oleander, like, mostly closes the door and then... Ta- or, like, closes the door, takes off hat, takes off mask and everything, and then, like, partway opens the door and, like... Holds it through. Yeah, he'll take it. All right, I'll be just uh, about ten minutes, Oli, and uh, I, I'll come back whenever I'm done. All right, thank you. He goes back to the. That's cute. I wonder what he looks like underneath. <laughs> Adorable little man. Oh my god. I'd say by this point it's been like five minutes since he started repairing the mask. Okay, let's see. Am I going to be one for three? It's open, Dune. You don't have to knock. You know I must always be polite. I knew it! I knew one of these three times! I love that some rose blossom would get it. Why did I do that? <clears throat> Anywho, what? Yeah, this is technically my shop, and... I mean, I'm still in working hours. I still have about an hour left. Uh, like I told the others, uh, they made me realize I should put a, a, a time sort of plaque on the door, the wall out there. Do close the door behind you, please, Mr. Oh, yes, yes, of course. You, I... you see him in the middle of casting Mending, dragging his finger along another crack of Oleander's mask, uh, another part oh, taking his that... place. Oh, is that poor Oleander's mask? Yes, he uh, dropped it off with me so I could prepare it for him. And slowly but surely making progress. Is there anything I can do for you? I actually came to give you thanks. Uh, I did get a, I get a chance to use one of those night vision potions you created for me. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, perfectly uh, as advertised. Uh, how is it working, right? Is, do we need to dilute it down so that it lasts less amount of time, but we have more of them next time, or...? I think, for, I think for the next batch it might be a good idea, but, but what you've given me already, they were very effective. It seems like a good... We were to ne- we were, I was able to navigate a quite a dangerous place with them, and still keep myself mostly intact. I do not know, I'm glad that the, that the potions helped. Ah. Uh, uh, how did the most recent endeavor go? I mean, besides the fact that poor Leander's mask got, well, shattered? There was a, a lot of fire. A lot of fire. Speaking of, would you be able to manufacture a potion of fire resistance? Ooh, unfortunately, I I don't have any of the reagents I need for that. Uh, what do Lady you require? Here knows the reagents that I need, though. Yeah. I assume that you didn't run into any on your trip in this warm place. Alas, no, nothing of note this time. Oh, if you go looking around again, uh, do try to keep an eye out for certain things. Uh, fire leaves are the prime thing for fire resistance potions, but I also use them for other things as well. What was that again? Fire leaves? Yes, fire leaves. They look... Well, you know how autumn leaves look? Think like that, but just all year round and mildly warm to the touch. That sounds very pleasant. Like, stuffing a pillow full of those would be quite nice. Oh, oh, oh. don't do that. I have... They have propensity to catch... Yes, you see, um, they do have a, a tendency to... If handled incorrectly, a catch fire, and I've tried that before, and to do that I would need the help of Rubatan. That would take a long time, and I don't know if that poor... I don't know if that poor Rocky Puncher would be able to do it proper. Fair. Have you been eating well, Bastron? You seem a bit haggard. I've been eating fine, I've just been... stressed. <laughs> It's been a time, and whenever your reagents start running out and you don't have a way to really recuperate them yourselves and buy more, 
I haven't been able to see the, the, the old <laughs> insane man. I would buy reagents or seeds from him if I could, but oh, he yes. hasn't uh, been in town uh, for a while. He's been... Mr. Mobile, yes. <laughs> yes, last time he was here was about, I want to say, three months, give or take. Something about it. Why don't you give me a list of everything you need? And I will make sure it gets to him the next time I see him, which will probably not be too terribly long. Um... We um, run into him at least once every time we go out. Off the top of my head, I'm so very sorry, don't I? Oh, I don't expect anything now. I can see you're stressed and busy. Stressed? I'm a bit tired. I, I'll come by again bef- next time before we leave, and you can I will say, I, I believe I might have given a list to Lady Vithir, uh, so you could... A pest, uh, no, a pest is not the right word, I'm just stumbling over my words here. <laughs> uh, you could ask her, possibly, and she might have the list still, possibly. If not, uh, come back tomorrow if she can't remember, and of I course. should be able to remember by then. And Is there best... anything else that you need? That's what we all. I just wanted to come and thank you and... Here, Dune's gonna pull Vezrin in for a hug. He's like in the middle of, you know, dragging his finger across Thank you mask. for all your support. You've been instrumental. Are you alright, Dune? This is... This feels a little strange to me. A kind of like, awkward side pad. To be honest... Things. I'm not holding up that well myself, to be perfectly honest. Yes, I can see that. You have a little bit of the, um, the veins around your neck again, it seems. Not only that, but we almost died today. Well, I mean, that will happen here. I mean, he kind of, like, leans in. Why do you think I stopped going out and put up a shop here instead? It, uh... Many of us that once went out exploring, instead of continuing to go out, we either had a harrowing experience or decided that it wasn't worth it anymore. We we weren't as strong as we once were, or we got an injury that left us blinded, but opened up a different sense. Or I... it's just not something we are pretty good at. I mean, that's for some of us. And the rest of us are cherry and well, that man's an enigma, and I still don't understand him. I believe what we're doing is necessary and the right thing to do, but... Oleander... Veer... Even was, Gherkin. How is Aisha doing? Is she okay? The fireplace wasn't bad on her either, was she? Uh, she got roughed up a bit, but she's alright. Good that all of you survived. In fact, you omitted her name for a moment that had me... A little bit worried. Aisha's Aisha, and Aisha will do as Aisha pleases. She does seem a bit grumpy. I don't want to get on her bad side. I feel like no, she could break not. me like a twig. You've no idea how right you actually are. But it's just... I've already lost people close to me once. And I thought I'd close myself off from caring, but... Do that? That's a bit... I mean, that's... And it seemed that... Let me say this, Dune. He sets the mask down and actually fully looks at you at this point. Shutting yourself off from all emotion, while it may help in the short term and make you feel mildly better for whatever things that you may have caused or couldn't stop, even if it was out of your control. You can't... Always keep it locked. I just don't want to fail them again. Today my magic was barely useful to miss after miss. I don't want to lose the people close to me again. Magic is a fickle thing. Sometimes it plays. Not really plays. The weave is a fickle mistress. Everyone taps into it differently. And sometimes emotions can mess with it. But other times, your connection to whatever gives you your magic, it might just be weaker at times. You look like a strong individual. Don't always rely upon your magic. Try and use your muscle. Uh, hit somebody 
really hard if you have to, or maybe and learn how to. I mean, do you typically use a shield? Normally, I do. Yes. Maybe put in some time and effort to learn how to defend somebody that's nearby with your shield, or even. Oh no. That's the thing. We can camera home on these what ifs, these multitude of scenarios. Will that ever really change anything that's happened? No, it wouldn't. No, the best thing I guess I could say is just use all these experiences and turn it into something to train, maybe, or to learn something new about yourself. Maybe you're not good at using a specific magic or such. Maybe you start using a different one. Learn a magic that can bolster the defenses of your allies, or something better on healing, or things that aren't useful in combat, but better in the middle, in the interim. Do you know if there's a library or anything in town? There was before, but I think it's gone into disrepair at this point. Where is it? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, I'm so sorry, Miss Joan. It's alright, Lord Professor. If there is still a library, or if it has gone to disrepair, like I think, someone might have moved the books somewhere else for storage, possibly. I'm sure if I asked Jerry, he would know. It's very possible. But I should get back to working on this mask. Right. I told I- Mr. Oleander it would only be a few minutes, ten minutes or so. I I don't want to keep all your time either, and Fetherin. Yes? Don't forget that there are people who care for you. (laughs) I hope there is. I hope she hasn't died at this point. I'm quite alive, you know. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely was talking about you, too. What the heck she's doing? I wonder who you were talking about, and wherever she is, I hope she's okay. <laughs> I would head back to the tavern. Yeah. You guys, I love Fensrin. Fensrin's a sweetheart! Fensrin's amazing! Fensrin, God, we hated him when this game started. We hated him when the first session. I thought he was funny, but we were all also in the boat of... Teru Tally was the one that really liked him. I very much enjoyed him at the start. How do you enjoy him now? Do you, do you Here's like... the thing. I he thought he was going to be constantly incompetent. He has proven he has competence. <laughs> yeah, he is no longer yeah. incompetent. He has Twama. I want to give him a hug. Everyone here has Twama. Oh, Andrew, that was like a little bit longer than he said. Uh, but then like you hear a gentle... Oh, yeah, doesn't care. You hear a gentle <laughs> knock on the door. Just, oh, and I've got the mask done. Uh, oh, um, thank you. He holds out. His, he holds his hand out through. He will gently, like carefully, like make sure you know it reaches the hand. Oleander takes it, puts it on. Oh, I'm very curious, Oleander. No, that would be rude. I shouldn't ask about that. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what, what, what is it? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. I can ask later. The house of Hill is everything good. Uh, uh, yes, I think so. I think this feels... It's yes. Proper. This feels correct. He's holding the scarf. You didn't swipe anything now, did you, Oleander? Uh, swipe? Oh, dear, all right. I, it, it's a small, common joke. Uh, people make... People in my profession at times... Uh, I used to make jokes like that all the time with my friend. Uh, it's a joke of saying, like, you didn't take anything from the back, or... Mess with anything. Oh, I thought you meant hit something. Oh no, the oh, home. Do you know? I was very confused. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Common is a, a bit funky like that. I, I'm more of a face yes, speaker yes. myself. Yes, it's a complicated language. Sylvan is much better. A little bit more melodic to the uh, ear. I know some Sylvan. Oh. oh, did Miss Fairthea teach you that, I'm assuming? Uh, no, I <laughs> learned it via my studies. Fear doesn't even know Sylvan. <laughs> oh, is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Oleander? Are you all good for the evening? 
I think I'm good, yes. I need to return this. He holds up the scarf. Have a lovely have a lovely night. You as well. Give my regards to everyone that survived. I shall, which is everyone. Everyone that <laughs> survived. Well, maybe you'd know. Uh Vester let on that there was once a library? Ah. Yes, that was a thing at one point, yes. Oh, uh, what happened to it? It fell into old age. We, since we didn't have any sort of mages or anyone that was really hurting for books at the time, we didn't keep it up, so it started to fall apart like some of the buildings that I showed I showed the other day. Um, Where were the books moved, if they were? I had to make a guess based on what Jerry does. He probably would have taken them to either Morin's estate or wherever he's staying at the time. Uh, besides my own prowesses, I am in fact a, a doctor, and I figured if people from so many time periods and so many walks of life were coming through here, that maybe one or two medical texts may have come through. You're a doctor? Yes. I'm sorry, you, I, you don't have the uh, sort of energy to you. I mean, I've you been... feel like a woman of the cloth, possibly, or... Some well, sort I, of cell sword, but wh what, a doctor, not so much. A woman, a woman of cloth, yes. Um, where I came from, we served as both. Hmm. Interesting. It's not what they used to do in my time. Good change. But I... It, it, basically, out of necessity, considering how often the kids would injure themselves or take sick. Uh, oh, yes. I learned all that I could from my own quaint home, but hmm. I would like to find... If there's any medical texts that can be found, if I could peruse them and perhaps learn a figure to, to better help my friends stay alive. Oh, bother. Oh, I'll bother Jerry whenever he comes back. See if we can't find anything. Uh, That'd be lovely. Or anything useful. Historical texts, medical texts, anything to do with the arcane, just whatever I can get my hands on. I I'm rubbish at fighting, to be perfectly honest, and... But I have a brain, and I know how to handle knowledge, so... Rubbish at fighting, hmm? I have not been as effective as I would have liked to be. Hello, Leander. You're looking better. Hello. Uh, uh there's a new mending, so this, it's, it's all fixed. Oh, that's convenient. Yes, it is. <sighs> you know, I found... It's quite fascinating whenever I came across the town without any magical abilities. How, say, breaking a vase or glass became such a big deal to them. It's quite funny, I think. It is, it is very interesting. I am, where I'm from, there are quite a few magical individuals. So, similarly, it wasn't too big a deal. Where I come from, it is, uh... Call it a mix. Those with magic try to keep those without power, without magic, if you will. Interesting. I don't think it's a good thing. Doesn't sound like it. Either way, I don't mean to drag you down. I'm glad your mask is fixed. Oh, thank you. Now I have a scarf to give back. What a cutie. Oh, hmm. uh, yes, no. Ah. Hmm. So what is your plan coming up here soon then, Doom? With... Oh, hello you too! Small way. Hello. Turning in for the night. Uh, uh yes. Uh, which room is Venus again? Uh, up the stairs, door on the left. I'll pass the Let silver across the table to Larry. There. Oh, yeah, but, uh, thank you. Mm. Got your max fist, did ya? Yes, uh... Oh, uh, uh yes. Lovely. Hello, Aisha. I've got the location surveyed. We're going to go plan a mission to the volcano, but once I'm back, we should have some decent downtime. You're going to the volcano? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, all right. Oh, be very careful, I guess. That's the plan. <clears throat> trying to get Morn's body back. You're trying to do what now? Huh. Oh, that's... Hmm. I heard anyone try to say that before. Well, there's a first time for every sentence. 
<laughs> that is that is indeed true. <laughs> First time for everything. Whew. Definitely be very careful. He was a very powerful mage, if I remember the stories correctly. Yes, we don't imagine it's going to be quite as simple as just waltzing in, grabbing it, and leaving. I backs open the cupboard behind him again and grabs a few mugs, pours out a drink, and comes back over, slams one in front of Dune and in front of Aisha. Mm. I'd offer it to the others, but they're upstairs and I don't want to bother them. Oh! Here is to crazy ideas, in my opinion. <laughs> She'll do a polite little click. <laughs> mm. Here's to all of our collective insanity. Yes. Here's to the ones that don't come back. She says under her breath as she takes a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rum, actually. Uh, a sweet rum. It's got you know, a hint of cherry in it, but it tastes like it's been aged for a long time, so you can really get that sort of... Mahogany. Oh. Shut up. Mahogany barrel. Mahogany. It's got like a little bit of that sort of aftertaste, and uh, man, doing the room spinning again <laughs> every time. Every time. Ah, the every room time. is all spinny, and I feel warm inside. <laughs> That's what I always say. Where's the puppy? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna again mutter just so Dune and Larry can hear and no one else in the river of magma. <laughs> I'm sorry, there was a dog in the river of magma. You know what? I'm not even gonna question that. <sighs> I tell you, Larry, our adventures. <laughs> we could set up shop here and probably make a pretty penny just telling people tales. Please don't. I would rather somebody at least attempts to get us out of here. Mm. It's been so long since people tried. Well, we're giving it our best effort. Doing good so far, I'd say. No one's died yet, so I'd agree. Hmm. I don't know how we're still alive. Dune, you really need to, um, learn your tolerance better, my word. It's kind of my fault. I did grab one that's been aging for a few <sighs> no years. Problem. It tasted excellent. Special occasion. Special yes. occasion. Listen, if a drink can turn off the ouchie in my brain, that is a-okay with me. Alright, mm, we need yes, to get her to... to the... Yeah, yeah. I'll get, I'll, can take care I'll of get this side. <laughs> oh, I mean, if you want, I can just heft her up myself. I, I... mean, he kind of flashes. She, she looks down at her hands, kind of just like bone-shattering sound, looks back up. Yes, okay, I'll... <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Larry just easily fucking <laughs> forearms the woman. <laughs> just limp doodle. Uh, before we go up there, let's see what these crazy peeps are doing. Yo, it's Carf for turn quest. Dude, you're about to get 10 XP. for turn quest. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm returning this. He holds out the scarf. Thank you. That I mask hope. looks nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, I hope it's not burnt or anything. Even if it is, it's, it's okay. Oh, well, it, it seems like a nice scarf. I was just... Thank you. You're welcome. Good night? Uh, good night. Yes. Good morning, Lark. Hello there. He holds up the hand that is still missing a few fingers. Feeling any better? I feel much better today, though I am still missing fingers. Apparently, I cannot grow fingers back. Mm-hmm. That's pretty yeah, standard. It's usually, yeah, it's usually a lot harder than losing them. <laughs> I will put that to memory. Fingers are harder to get than to lose them. That That was not the... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Are we going on an adventure today? I believe that hmm. Eric will be showing up at the edge of the zone. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he just appeared in the middle of town. <laughs> honestly? Yeah. Or I just agree. in the middle of the dining hall somehow. He does have a way of just showing up randomly, doesn't he? Wizards, as soon as they learn teleportation, it gets to their minds. Mm -hmm. Hey, I resemble that statement. He 
resent it, Jerry. No, he resembles it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not insane if that's what you implied. I just, you know, felt like making a stupid joke. <laughs> resemble it. So, he looks different. I don't know how I like it. He metamorphosized like a beautiful butterfly. You know, I'm not even gonna question it. He looks it. like Morin. Come on, Jerry. I thought you were all inclusive. I think he's inheriting his devilishly good looks or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something that dude would say. Have you met him? Well, before yeah. the ring thing. I was gonna say, uh, you probably? Uh, I am forgetting shit. Shit! Oh man, hang on, let me think. Uh. Jerry, are you okay? Listen, I was up all night last night. Uh, the kid was not happy. He. He was having a bad day, and I, yeah, Salonius, he's asleep right now. Mm. The other kid, he, he was worried, and, and I may have let slip that, you know, you guys are going dungeon delving, and then he asked what it's like in those places, and me forgetting that, you know, other little kids are different from other little kids. I was like, oh yeah, those dungeons can be deadly, and he was all like, deadly? Oh yeah. I'm not with Kajai! And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no, they, they won't die. He, they're too cool. Cool people can't die in dungeons. That's, that's just <laughs> how it works. Don't tell him that. Please don't get him thinking that being cool makes you invincible. Listen, it was the best I had. And that's fair. He's probably <laughs> been through a lot of bad experiences. Well, I mean, the kid's mom died, apparently, so yeah, that, that tracks. We all know all the cool people die in dungeons. Oh, well, Dune, that means you're safe, I suppose. Ah! That's ah, ice cold. Exactly. <laughs> she crosses her arms and smiles. Are you still Dude. drinking? Are you okay? You seem I'll like be... you've had better days, too. Oh, uh, me? Yes, you. Oh, all right. Hmm. It's just, yesterday was too close. We need to be more careful. I nearly lost a lot of you, and I was utterly useless that fight. Dune, I don't know if you noticed or not. Not a lot of us were useful that fight. That thing had us outmatched in many ways. The only way we survived was by working together as a team. You did your part. Why are you feeling bad for that? It's just... it was too close. And yeah, you're, you're, you're going to say I have bad judgment for this, but I happen to care about a lot of you. You do have bad judgment for that, yes, but... Yeah, really, I'm mean, like, who cares about me? Fuck, I'm just a goblin, man. Speaking of I Jerry, care I'm, about you. Speaking, Jerry, you're actually, the most charismatic member of well, this whole organization. Jerry, I had a question for you. 72! No. Yurkin is going to launch his hand up here and close her door, because Dune keeps forgetting to close her door. <laughs> I'm glad somebody did it. I was about to throw something. <laughs> I was going to ask, so I guess from what I've heard, there was a library at one point that fell into disrepair. I was wondering where you stashed the books. Next to the bodies. Uh, be under job. the bodies. Shh. Shh. We don't talk about the bodies. That's a secret. If you don't talk about the bodies, then the bodies won't move. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, we've got a little bit of time before uh, he shows up. Anybody need anything? Oh, right. Yes. yes location is um, I'll have to go look around. They're probably in the place where I typically sleep. Uh, I stored a lot of shit in there. I would <laughs> be very much interested in going through them for any any kind of arcane books left behind, or any, uh, any, particularly any medical journals or anything left by, by, uh, other travelers who've come through here. Arcane there had to be tomes. a doctor among at least one of them. Arcane uh, Tomes would probably be in, uh, the fucking kid's place. Uh, however, in medical journals, I feel like doctors would have kept this. I'll have to go digging around for a bit. Alright, I've got Wonder. a task! Get up! So, do all of you want to go try and meet up with Eric? <sighs> Maybe. 
There's a few things I can think of that I might need for resources. I was going to see what I can scrounge up for a uh, few future projects and then see if I meet up with Eric and order for purchase from the, re the rest from him. Speaking of Eric, uh, Veer, mm -hmm. I was talking with uh, Lord Vezrin and he said he uh, passed along a list of uh, materials he needed. Yes. I was thinking we could give that to Eric and perhaps with his outside contact he could I'm already a step ahead of you. <laughs> Alright, I just want Before we left I did ask to buy some things some of the plants that Ooh, uh, Maybe I make see. sure to get the seeds too. We might be able to I plant a garden. I'm also ahead of you on that. Did, we're, we're the seeds are cheaper than a pound of them in many cases. Well, did you happen to ask for any fire leaves along with those? I ordered a pound of fire leaves. Oh, good. Veer, you are very on top of this. It's almost like we spent like an hour talking about these things. <laughs> Did you just use an illusion? I'm proud of you. Your I've comment's been, getting better. I've been reading up on them. Oh, right. Mr. Holyander. An illusion, yes. not an illusion. Yes, illusion. As in alluding to something else. I was really confused <laughs> when you said he was using an illusion. <laughs> Uh, I was like, how is he? Where is the illusion? Is it his face? Yes, can't you see? He's got this weird mustache. I do. Wait, does he? You don't. Don't. It's right there. No. She points. <laughs> <laughs> the mask, which <laughs> clearly oh, doesn't have no. a mustache. <laughs> I could hop up to go talk to Hollander for a moment. Like, leans in uncomfortably close to look at Hollander's mask. <laughs> Oleander is not uncomfortable about it. <laughs> yeah, Because he's Oleander. I don't see a mustache. Well, that's good. Oh, oh right. Mr. Oleander, may I have yes. my fingers back? I believe that those oh, other yes. ones that I can slightly feel are... It's weird. It. Have you ever played with putty? Or putting your hand in a vat of jello? Uh, I think... At one point, maybe? I should just very softly to fear and Gurgen, have you ever fucked a slime girl? <laughs> <laughs> I think my brother did once. <laughs> you would just sit there blinking. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't say I have. Dude, I love that I should have just full of crass fucking jokes. I get to make the stupidest shit. Oh, right. Ooh, that's a lark. That's a lark. Lark just kind of like looks at Oleander and just, yes, that is what it kind of feels like when they're in your bag. Interesting. May I have them back, please? Kill yes, me you and Rich with that. Take out. <laughs> Take out, uh, take out the thingies. Anyway, I'm gonna go see if I can scrounge up some materials for, uh, for binding some shards of the Astral Sea to different planes of existence to use an enchanting. Later! What? That's... Right. Uh, you know what, I'll just trust you not to blow yourself up with that. Uh, I'll say it again, the fact that any of us are still alive is a confounding miracle to me. There we go. That is much better. Thank you, Mr. Oleander. Oh, good. You're welcome. And then somebody does come in, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> in a fanfare. Eggs! Yes. Eggs. You start coming towards the door. You're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go do all these things and prepare. And then door just, Phew. And why is the music following him? Oh, my God. I told you I'd be here, everyone. And I got a little bored at the edge of town. And, well, I figured I'd come here and say hello to some old friends. You see Larry kind of put his hands to his face and just... Oh, you had one. I, you know, no, no. <laughs> hey, Eric, Eric it's back. a I'm pleasure go, to see you. I'm going to go get some uh, materials and set things up. Bye. No, <laughs> all right. See you, Gherkin. <laughs> oh, my word. Eric. Uh, yes. Are well, you sure you're a... Uh... Traveling wizard or a traveling band? Strapped to his back, carrying it like a backpack, and on top of it, he has the tent all nicely, like, folded up and on top. I love this man. This man's great. No, I'm not the band. That's those ones over there. 
<laughs> well, I wouldn't really say they're guys, but would I? They're like a magic item of sorts that I found forever ago. You have my order? Which one? <laughs> so many the, orders. The, the, the plants, the seeds. Oh, uh, see, I thought you were going to say that you were looking for a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of the special stuff, and I was gonna be like, Here, Thera, we've talked about this before, I think. Have we talked about it before? Did I say no. I'm not into drug running? I can't remember. I, I'm not into it, but my, my assistant might be. I don't know. The chicken. I don't know what he likes to do. He likes to do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> What's between him and his free time? It's his free time. And he says as he like starts setting down like a box. That was inside the chest, and then another chest that was inside of the second chest. And then he starts pulling out a bunch of stuff. It's just like, let's see here. Uh, here we are. A pound of this, a pound of that. Here you go. Thank you. Has there been any response to my letter? Uh, still no response back. I'm so sorry about that, Dune. Quite all right. One of these days, I swear. The post just ain't what it once were. We've only been here for like maybe a week and a half, two weeks? Have we been here two weeks? I believe we've been here longer than that. I don't really. It's like it's getting closer to a month. Today would be the 30th, essentially, for you lot, so... Oh wow. Yes, well, that was much more month. accurate than I thought. <laughs> yes. Oh right, I also have a little something for my favorite silver hair. Hmm. Not me. Oh shit, now I have two. Okay, one of my favorite silver hairs. Which one's number one may surprise you. I'm just gonna put her or like elbow in this chair and just be like, you can have two favorites, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I've been told that it's not good to have more than one favorite. You can just not choose favorites then. Makes it Fuck. easier. <laughs> but you I like to say it. she's your favorite while I'm not here. But then I'd be mean! He puts down a small case on the table. Ladies, ladies, both of you have your own traits and assets. Dune, fuck off and just get drunk or something. Oh, the time I get drunk already. Oh, I, I mean, don't know, she's been like sitting somewhere. at the bar this whole time looking like a lost puppy. Oleander says to Lark, I'm confused. Which one was his favorite? Lark kind of oh, like no, we put them together. Lark has that that, <laughs> that, dummy that tape. <laughs> one in the index finger to the chin, just tap, tap, just. I do not know. I think we should investigate this later. There's no dude no, casually no. flirting with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we got this faster than I thought we would. Oh really? Oh yeah. And all the trolls of blood that you were looking for. I think it's because whenever he was trying to find those potion ingredients, he got really lucky with a guy. I don't know. I don't tend to ask him too much because, you know, too many questions. I might start losing kneecaps. Is he that aggressive? Is his chicken like a mob boss? <laughs> it kind of seems like it. <laughs> what? No. I'm going to have to find a place to keep these. I wonder if Larry has a stash where he can put something for safekeeping. I, mean, I couldn't tell if you, but he probably does. I mean, he's got a plethora of things. I'm very curious what you gotta do with those. You making a potion? Something like that. A good thing you didn't ask me for help on that. Potions? Not my forte. Food? My forte. <laughs> also, random bullshit like this. Yeah, holds up the whisk again. Okay then, out of curiosity, if you were going to cook this into a dish, what dish would you make? The troll blood. Yes. Well, that's a hard one. That's, it's kind of thick and whatnot like that. It's kind of like a syrup. Ugh. A black pudding? Mm. I could do a pudding. Yeah, I could actually probably do a pudding with it. It would be weird as fuck. But it might be interesting, too! Hmm. You know, it has crossed my mind. I know that things here are corrupt in nature, but... I wonder if any of the corrupt animals are edible. I've seen a man try that before. It was funny. 
I'll turn hit up. Play. Dune, if you want to be a part of the conversation, stop shouting across the fucking bar. <laughs> I'm starting to. Thank you. Good Lord. I thought that was just how we're talking. I... I'm very hard of hearing at this point. It's been a long week. Uh, did someone thunder wave in a cave? Uh, essentially. Well. <laughs> Closer to thunderous smite. A small man and a sheep. A small man and a sheep? That's a weird one. Gurkin punched uh, a sheep into a pit. That's hilarious. Uh, what was I saying, though? Alright, I was talking about the dude who ate a, a corrupt thing. Uh, yeah, that didn't sit well in his stomach. I can't imagine it would. <laughs> yeah. It, what did he do to it? it? Did he just eat okay. it? All? So, he was really, really angry. And he was out of food. And I was like, well, I could sell you some. And he was like, no, fuck you. And then he went and punched a, one of those weird pig looking guys. Kind of looks like that guy over there. <laughs> With the cobalt. <laughs> the blue. And uh, he punched it in the face and then bit on it. Took out a chunk and then swallowed, killed it. A few hours later, he was like, I don't feel so good, and then threw up a bunch of uh, weird bile, and I uh, looked like, you know, some veins were all fucky. Uh, I think he got a little bit of corruption from it, but it also could be that his body just didn't like it. Kind of like the water. Maybe he just found out he was allergic. That too. I feel like doing the proper terrification stuff's on it maybe it could work. But a lot of the time, those things tend to just... <laughs> Never not doing around here, is it? Yeah, they're very... immaterial, it appears. The magic is more of their mass than any actual flesh. It's a little hard to actually eat it. It'd basically be eating magic, I imagine. Maybe that fire didn't sit in his stomach right. Maybe it's because he tried to eat magic. Maybe I should try that. Maybe the people that could eat it are more like Locke over there. Clark is currently, uh, <laughs> all I had to do was, he, he was trying to, like, have a, a conversation about gems and how they taste. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he f had found, apparently, you know, some gems in his master's father, creator, whatever you want to call him, house. And he pulled out a ruby, he's like, yes, this one tastes like, I believe that, uh, Miss Aisha would call it a cherry. <laughs> or would it be strawberry? Hmm. Here, would you like to try? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no. No, thank you. I okay. don't... I don't eat in front of people. Oh. Would you like it for later? Sure. <laughs> yeah, to a very small, like, you know, strawberry-sized ruby. Oleander has forgotten that they were talking about not actual food for a moment. <laughs> and then just puts it in his pocket. <laughs> I love him. So, Eric, um, I found myself in the process of, I guess you could call it a little bit of a hobby while I have free time here, working on constructing a general place of prayer, a temple, in home, and the thought crossed my mind of some sort of centerpiece, something <laughs> akin to a statue, a object of prayer, uh, maybe a pew. Something along those lines. Something which I couldn't exactly come across here. I mean, you're like one, one of those, uh, what do they call Those little, like, stone statue thingies that they make either out of marble stone or other things that they put on the little podiums to be like, this is a thing to this god type deal? Yes, like an idol, I suppose. I was merely curious. I want to make it a general place of worship. Hmm. Although I'm not entirely sure what a centerpiece for such a place would be. That one's a hard one. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any gods out there that are like, and here's me as a sort of middle ground. I mean, if you think about it, Kelimvor is very neutral. Very lawful neutral. He's the judge, you see. Hmm. Uh, but I don't know if he would be fine with being a general worship thing. Hmm. Is there... Hmm. Here's an idea. What about an illusion spell that can make itself an effigy of any deity one wishes? Ooh! That sounds like fun! 
That way you can put your own thoughts into it. That's much better than my idea. What was your idea? idea. A a bit of a deus, um, a ring of sorts, with small statuettes of each of the major uh, deities. That would work if we had space. However, we're working with a very small area. I don't think I could fit all of that. An enchantment to make it bigger on the inside? That's even more pricey. That's that's pretty pricey, depending upon... Yeah, that's why I said your idea is much better than mine. I mean, if you make the place bigger, you can always do that later. Very true. Her very idea true. is a good. Her idea points to Aisha. It's a very good current step. Uh, we can go with your idea as a long term term goal, dude. How much would that cost? One of my plans has been to bring the Statue of Cord back from the mine up to the northeast. Or northwest, rather. Northeast? No, it's northwest. Um. Don't lose your mind on me now. I, I should be the only one. I'm not good with maps. I move based on instinct, not cardinal direction. There. Let's see. For that thing, though, that's a pretty basic enchantment. I feel like minor illusion could probably work. Probably. You could have a spot where you could bring in your own offerings. But just that alone, I feel like I could probably make something like that myself. Uh, that would be much appreciated if you could. It would help get this whole idea off, of, off the ground. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you got any, like, materials you would want it made out of? Or... Mm. Not on me. That being said, I could see a gemstone being the base. Uh, shame I don't have those onyx crystals anymore. An onyx crystal? That would that'd be an interesting thing to work into an item. Well, if we're heading to the volcano, we could try to obtain a obsidian. My first thought was of wood or stone. Would that work? Wood or stone for a base? Yeah, that'd be perfectly fine. I'll be around. I could stick around here for a while, probably. Yes, Eric, you're allowed to stay here for a while. And no issues. Oh, don't worry, Larry. I'll be out of your way. I'll just set my tent up outside. Er- Eric, no. But, but, Eric, you, you can't just put her outside. Oh, why not? We've done it before. And then you make people come to your place instead of here, and that is to at least put it on the other side of the road. Oh, fine. You're no fun. Oh, look at that guy. A big old stick in the mud, ain't he? Sounds like he's Kevin. not confident in his own work. <laughs> oh, God damn it. How do you even go against a man who uses magical implements to make his fucking food. I mean, there's only so much I can do. I'm not magic man like him. <laughs> I put in the hard work and everything. Oh, he's cheating. He's cheating. I think I'm going to take the straw blood over to Vazarin and see if I can get something done. I'll start cooking while we're off. Uh, I'll see you around, Eric. I'll see you around, uh... Don't, uh... Hey, shoot! What is a good, uh, one like who does think she walks away? <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't remember any. She'll slow down enough to let him try, and then just hears that and shakes her head and keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she comes up to Larry and she just goes, Do you happen to have a safety deposit box of any sort where I could store these? She holds up two vials <laughs> of Tro's blood. Oh shit, sorry, I was mm, I was not mumbling to myself about the implications of going against a man who's magic and only having elbow grease. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, let's see Focus, here. Larry. Uh, Safety deposit box. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I could put those on the shelf back here if you want. That would be perfectly fine, I just need them somewhere where they're not going to get broken on my travels. No, oh, yeah, no, I'll uh, put them there. He'll hold out his hand. Sure, she'll give him the two vials. Uh, in the little protective box that Eric gave her, so that they can be stored in it. Yeah, he'll walk over here to the case and open up the top shelf. There you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, no problem. Uh, anything else I can help you with? Drink? Uh, any no, other thing? I'm gonna just be trying to gather up everyone and pool our resources for the next mission. I'll probably be heading to Vezrin since... Uh... I have it on good authority that materials for fire resistance potions just came in. Uh, you can join me then. Gladly. 
Because we had Vesrin's Oleander. Keep Lock busy. Oh, well, I, I was going to, uh, I was going to go back to my room to work on something. You do not have to worry about me, Mr. Oleander, unless you would like some help. I am always happy to help friends. Um, I will keep that in mind. I would prefer to be the only one to see the work. I will talk to you later. I will see you later, Mr. Oleander. Have a good day. I I figured out what I need. Oh, all right. Um, hold on. I have a list here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Uh, 37 candles, 4 blue mountain flowers, 3 purple mountain flowers, a hawk eye, 6 feathers from 6 different birds, a, chump, a chunk of hippogriff down, a bottled fart of a flump, and a tear of a genie. That is a lot and very pricey, I think. Oh, also, uh, uh, the lungs of a griffin, that would probably help. Okay, but there's two pricey things on there. Uh, give me some time to figure out uh, how much all that would be. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> hello there, Mrs. Okay. Come back, Vera. How are you doing? Delivery. Delivery? Oh my, dear, you did not. I did. Oh, oh this will a help. A pound of fire leaves, a pound of fluce, and a pound of island, and then a seeds for everything you asked for. Oh, oh this is going to help out immensely. Some of these I can plant out in the in the garden out there, but some of these I have to do very carefully, uh, like the ones that are in the swamp only. Yes, it's a very fun process. I might have to teach you one of these days if you'd like. I would enjoy that. But something other than metal to work with. For. Oh, I wish I could work the metal, but the metal is something I never quite had the the skill with. I. I wish I could, but, well, I guess I just didn't have the patience. <laughs> That's where it's coming from me, isn't it? Very. After all, I make potions for a living. Ah. Potions evade me. You know what? Maybe we can teach each other a little something here and there. Oh, that would be fun. Is there anything I can get you? I have to reward you for this. I. Uh, there's got to be potions. something. Let's see. Give me the first batch of whatever the fuck you make. I mean, I do have some little things here and there I could possibly... Um, let's see. I do still have some uh, potions left over from before that no one ever seemed to want. Uh, there were some berserker tonics and some marksman tonics, but... I mean, as you know, some people see them as drugs, but I don't really quite see that as a, a drug, really. It's something that helps us, that makes the, uh, how do you say... Uh, he says something in a language that sounds... kind of sing-songy. You catch You're maybe a Sylvan? word... <laughs> oh. Did, did you not catch it? Or... My first language is Undercom. Okay, that's another thing I'm going to have to teach you. I can barely speak normal Elvish. What? Undercommon. You know Undercommon? Oh, yes, I... You know, you know new Undercommon. It's, you've, been, you've been away for 400 years. I... I don't know if I know new Undercommon. I... It's I, meshed very hard with other languages. There are... I've picked up a few words of Sylvan, but that's only because they're... because of my roots in Undercommon. Very fair, very fair. I... I'll try saying a few of the words. Maybe I will recognize them or not. We have kept, uh, the root for moon. Yes, that one still rings oh, pressure. full moon would be Virasha. Mm -hmm. Uh, waning would be Arctamvir. Yes, both of those still sound proper to me, uh... uh pronounce them like normal elvish. They're not spelled like normal. Oh, what's this? The spelling might We've be where it gets... apostrophes funky. so that we can separate words out. Okay, that one's a new one to me, actually. The older yes. was combo. Ah, is the suffix for full. Virasha. Huh. 
moon full, technically. Hmm. Very interesting. I. Ankh. Get an ankh. Hmm. I very much like it. <laughs> it honestly feels like it rolls off the tongue a little bit better than the old common. The old undercommon? Oh god, what do I even call it then? Old and common? Ooh, that's a weird one. We to... still have plenty of it. That's good. I was very worried. Theater? That... Do you know what the undercommon word theater? Sounds familiar. He left alone? Ah, uh, up, oh, up, oh, yep, there it is, yep. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe that the hard R is where I got it uh, mixed up. Uh, my friend would. My friend used to always uh, enunciate a little bit more on her R's and other certain mm. things. She. I think it was only because she would get angry at me and be all like, Really, Vezrin? She's like, Oh, come on now, you know it's Lord Vezrin Rose Blossom. And then she would just. Oh, yeah. I said again, Virha! Or something like that. Hard to really get it proper, you know? It's been a while. I. Sorry. No, it's... All right. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, I can give you if some... If you want to repay me, I will take another marksman tonic. And then you can give me a couple of the potions that you make when you brew with the new thing. Alright, well, is there any potions that you're specifically looking for? I can do a rush batch and... Fire resistance? I can probably do a rushed batch and... Can get... you do a water walking potion? Water walking. Let's see. You brought me Fluce, and on top of that, you brought me what is it? In Fluce, five leaves in Ireland. I believe that uh, he takes a little bit of the things and kind of walks back over and pulls a, a small little like notebook, flipping through it. Hmm, let's see. I want to do this, this, and this, and that. Gave me those. You gave me that. I could probably whip up a water walking, yes. Uh, however, its duration might be slightly less. I'm missing one of the duration. reagents. What reagent? Uh, whew, one that I will not ask you to try and get. It is very pricey. Uh, it is. <laughs> it is water from the plane of water. Oh! Actually, I'll keep that in mind, actually. And when I say water from the plane of water, I don't mean the stuff that you can get from a a, a flask, uh, like what Larry has. I have tried using that before. Unfortunately, No, Gohan is trying to use those star crystals that Jerry makes the recall stones out of into oh. other plane links. That is dangerous and interesting, and I like it. Ooh. So, if he is able to connect to any plane, I can ask him to try to connect to the, like, plane of water. Yes, um... you need anything else from other planes, I'll keep it in mind. Ah, ooh, that is a hard one, let's see. Um, I am unsure on that one. I mean, let's see, there are probably things I could get from other planes. Uh, if he can do that, or using the uh, magic man, <laughs> so to speak. I, I tell you, I believe... magic man. He's in town. Oh no, Larry is going to be absolutely upset about that. Has he got bored? He was waiting for us at the edge of town. Oh my. Alright, well, I will say though, um, with the reagents I do have though, I could make you some potions of water walking. They would only last for if I portioned it out properly. Uh, I say properly, I should say. If I portion it out into a bigger batch, they could last for a minute each. Or I could make a fewer batch and make it last for about 30 minutes, and that's pushing it. However, if we wait until I get the... I don't reagent, I can do the whole one hour, you know. Completely up to you. Uh. We'll work on it once we're back from our next excursion. But that. Okay, then the 
fire resistance ones are the ones that are the more important, then yes? Yes. Well, let's I bet see. you'll have a dune coming in here and being like, I saw that Veer brought you some fire leaves. How are those fire resistance potions coming? <laughs> Ironic. I was about to start pulling on the other two. <laughs> well, Do dune first. Do it. Do it. Dune, you like, you know, you knock and I, I didn't mention it to, to Veer because, you know, she just walked in, but um, there is a sign there now, you know, that, that specifies his hours. She saw it. She did it anyway to be polite. <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> Listen, I may be royalty, but I don't mean that much uh, respect. Nonsense. Lord Vezrin Roseblossom deserves the utmost respect. Oh my word. Anyway, uh, a, a small bird has told me that uh, you have gotten some fire leaves in stock, yes? Fire leaves? Little bird? I don't see any little birds here. Do you, you see any little birds here, Miss Rithia? I don't see any little birds here at all. Couldn't be the fact that Eric walked into the tavern and announced it. Uh, I mean, he does resemble a peacock, does he not? I would not call him little. Fair enough. Anyway, I would like to commission a fire resistance potion. Well, I was about to actually start getting to work on uh, some of those. Oh, right, I never actually did give you that. Uh, he quickly walks over and uh, goes on right here. And then I will just go and start. I'll be back later then, all right? Very good, very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there, I'll see you around. Of course. Fixing things, cause I'm a motherfucker. Well, nah, okay, I'm not a motherfucker. I wish I was a motherfucker. <laughs> All you people okay, and right. your MILF addictions. I mean, I have Listen, a single MILFs are hot, Tally. No. I uh, mean, I have a single mother. Of, you know, uh, you know, like, oh, just fucking, shut up. <laughs> I, 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 you kind of like passed her on your way. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Amy in the background, just like wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly more amazing when Amy says wouldn't. <laughs> True. <laughs> that is rare. I mean, I said, I said, oh, but damn. But yes, uh, Miss. I should find. Uh, yeah, well, well, would you like to stay around, maybe learn a little bit, or would you want? What are you gonna add? Doom, there's a sign on the door! I figured that would bother you. Oh, it's not Doom. I can't. I thought she came back. Oh, no. You're getting visited by all the ladies today, Petra. I guess I'm very popular with the ladies. <laughs> Next, we just need Carly to come in. Eric's in town, it's the nature of his energy. <laughs> oh, yes, the, the Eric is very. Uh, he's very much Eric, is he not? I hope I'm not a bother. Are you busy right now, or could you take an additional request, Lord Vesrin? I mean, I am just... Uh, yes, Lord Vesrin was awesome. Uh, I am just <laughs> making some potions at the moment, but I can take some requests, depending upon if I have the reagents and everything. Uh, what is it you were looking for? Well, you see, someone told me that... The ingredients for fire resistance potions. I'm kidding. Uh, I've got oh, this on a little bird, he tell you. <laughs> no, an old bird. wizened crackhead. Uh, <laughs> why? Don't give Cherry drugs. Cherry's not a crackhead. Eric. I'm talking about Eric. Yes, right. No, Cherry's uh, definitely not got any sort of a drug. Uh, wants a... <clears throat> I said nothing! Lord Vesero's loss is not someone that would <clears throat> spill secrets like that! Lord Aisha Vaziri oh, is... Right tell me. <laughs> I do not want to be fireballed again. So, a fire resistance potion? I heard it from a little birdie. Anyway, no, not fire resistance potions. This. Oh, all right. She holds up the vial of Chult's blood. Oh, that is... Um, if you need a little bit more information on it, I want knowledge, essentially. I want to know if I can turn this into a... Uh, the best way to put it is a potion to cure an affliction of mine. Hmm. Well, troll's blood is good for regenerative properties. It's 
very pricey. The fact you even got some is... who knows? Eric's a miracle worker. Um, that being said, I'm willing to stop by and give you further information on the context of what to type of a potion I, can, I desire, because I imagine just blindly grasping at straws is not very effective. Like we'll say, um, the help with afflictions and whatnot, it would be very much better if I knew what I was dealing with at all. Yes, which is why, um, whenever you're done with what you're doing there, you can take a look if you wish. This is going to take a... Well, actually, hang on. Maybe it won't take too long. Uh, let's see if I can get it to the simmer stage. One moment, hang on. Uh, let's see here. I should this, a uh, pinch of that, a bit of that, and my magic. Before I show you this, though, I must make it very clear that this is something I want to keep secret. Vithera already knows about it, so she's fine, but the majority of people should not know about this. You Mori agent says a few words. Uh, poison, a weird liquid. It's very viscous. Uh, and then just a puff of smoke comes up in his face, and he's... <coughs> <coughs> Alright, we're to the center stage! <coughs> oh. oh, that's punching! <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, I'm glad that I don't have to eat for the next hour or two. Mm. Alright, uh, where were you? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Can so you keep people, secret? You to... Yes, I can keep a secret. Uh, he looks at the two of you and then like... I already know that you can. You literally just passed my test earlier when I asked about Jerry. If that one was a slip of the tongue and an accident, and also, he and I tend to butt heads a lot. So he doesn't like me, so I tend to put on the, <clears throat> the voice that he hates more and more. I've come to notice that Jerry doesn't much like many people. Well, he also has had a lot of things happen to him in his life. Or at least that's what it feels like. Mm. I have a striking suspicion about that man, but I've never come to actually ask him about it. Oh, well, either way. I don't way. quite understand him fully. He's a bit of an enigma. I, I told Miss Viathera this the other day. Ah, but yes, I can keep a secret. All right. She's going to hold out her gauntlets. Yes, those are gauntlets. I, I really Not just any curious. gauntlets. Oh, what do they... Hang on, let me guess. Hmm. She shows him the rune on the back of the palm and just like, as if that would that would probably help, as he's a magical type. He just kind of like looks at it just... See, at first I was going to say some sort of electricity thing because of the red lightning, and I was like, Oh, you must be a, a an, an avid fighter of the Storm Lord. That is a rune of... Well, it is a bastardized version of life transference. Yes. Effectively, dirty necromancy. It's very much dirty. Are you all right? Ooh. She um, smiles. No, and that's why ooh. I'm coming to you. Oh, all right. I need um. Oh, I wish I had chairs. That's a lot to to take in. Uh, no, no chairs. I'm just going to. He sits on the ground. <laughs> Take your time. I've only ever seen that once before, and that was when me and my partner were testing things, and we, well, we found it. Uh, found us the wrong way to say it. We bought some things, and it was in uh, mm. a hodgepodge of stuff that we bought, a sort of bargain bin. Believe me, if I had the choice to not use this rune, I would. Unfortunately, it's the only thing that's keeping me alive. That is... you and got a from, sickness that's keeping you... Okay. Alright. From my best guess, I'm not actually sick. Well, I know one way to figure that out. Uh, how hmm. are you with needles? <laughs> she's going to hold the glove and he'll just hear a... Psh, 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 and then she's going to smile. Okay, acquainted. so very good. <laughs> yeah, slowly picks himself up... Uh, Rummages around underneath this again. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Good, I still had some left. Alright, this might sting a little bit. On three. One. Just do it. You and draw some blood. <laughs> 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 this will also take a little bit. Uh, 
Miss mm-hmm. Vivian, are you going to stay around as well for all of this, or did you want to go out for air? I don't mind if you want to stay and learn some of the trade. I, I do quite I don't enjoy. Mind learning a little. Who would could? Right. So what I'm using that matter. So I also a... don't mind you staying at this point. I feel like the more that we you share, this much you would have thrown me out earlier. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Completely not realizing that. Oh right, I should have asked Aisha first. Kind of like a little bit of a nervous sweat as he's facing away, just muttering to himself. Right, I should have asked her first. Aisha's just Please smiling, like you're pushing it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hmm. She's doing that whole I'm... thing of she the fear. This is more clear to you, who does, who has a better perspective on people than Vezrin, of just she's doing the whole intimidate him just to make sure he does a good job. <laughs> so, what I need to do with this is, uh, this is a sort of, well, I can use it for distilling, but I can also use it to sort of break apart components of, well, things, be it blood or. I say, elemental plane of water, water. Um, you can put that in here, and you can break it down to essence of water plane and just plain old water. Very volatile. I don't recommend doing that without protective gear and everything. But it can also be used to separate things from blood and get a better sort of idea of what's what pressing a few buttons on this thing and pulls a lever and checks the blood in and yeah, so you see that if you put it in here the blood should separate that's weird hmm interesting why is it doing that it's almost like no that can't be right I'm sorry it's just give me a moment I just but that shouldn't Aisha do you have two different kinds of blood in you right now or something or you I was going to tell you. <laughs> you jumped ahead of the game quite quickly. Sorry, I, when I get into this sort of uh, test things, I tend to start going quickly and. Oh. Uh, here. This might give you a good idea. She's going to pull up the corner of her gongs and, like, shows the sharp teeth, and then pulls up a little bit of the bandages around her neck. And underneath, there is clearly a sort of hard, like, reflective, red, like, chitinous growth. Hmm. It's kind of where her collarbone is. That is... What is that? Interesting. And also not interesting, because apparently it's causing you immense discomfort. It's because I am... Well, the best I've been able to ascertain is I'm an unstable being. Hmm. I do not like that. I do not do you like know what a chimera one. is, Lord Vezrin? Let me roll to see if he knows what a chimera is. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh, I've only heard stories, and I think I've run into maybe one, but... Hmm. Oof. The most common is generally referred to as a manticore, a lion, and a tiger, or sometimes a buck, or a bird mixed together. It's not a good time. Huh? I am... Um, well, as you can see, part human. And then she lifts up the bandage again, and part scorpion. Well, that's interesting, but also, I keep saying that's interesting, and I do not mean that in a bad way. It's more of a alchemical scientific, if that makes sense. Yes, and the fact that both bloods are present means there's probably a tug of war going on within my body. Yes, I believe. Ah, there we are. Uh, uh, there is also one other thing in here. It looks like mm. finally done splitting. Um, so it's got the two different bloods. Now that I know that, uh, that's easy. Um, but it looks like there's some sort of, well, possibly a pathogen of some kind. Uh, something like. Hmm necrosis in a way, but different than necrosis. Uh, you know how we, uh, certain spiders, they'll bite your skin and they'll cause the flesh to slowly die? Yes, I, I am aware. Like. Hmm. This is what it kind of looks like. Are you saying that there is venom in my blood? Possibly, yes. 
Uh. Which could be <laughs> what might be killing you, like I'm not sure. Did the idiots think that that's where you inject the venom? Oh, I swear, of all the problems they've caused me, <laughs> she just starts to, like, hold her head! <laughs> it is completely possible. Uh, uh, this would take more study for me to try and figure out. Uh, but you're wanting me to try and make something to help with this. Yes, that is... We encountered one of the folks that did these experiments, and their suggestion was Troll's blood. That you listen to him is strange to me. All right. Uh, sorry, I need a little bit more. A little bit more what? Blood? Ah. Dab. <laughs> like, right as you're saying, just like, <laughs> in the shoulder again. You know, most people have the common courtesy to tell someone before they do that. Yes, but see, I needed you to... Well... What do you I think I am, a more. wimp? I'm not going to flinch. Very fair. <laughs> I just needed a little bit more as well. And also, I thought you might flinch. Uh, Alright, trust blood that... Ooh, this is going to be a large undertaking. Not expecting expediency. And currently, I am stable. Okay, good. I was worried. I th- that makes a lot more sense with that rune and the weird reason of its past. That makes a lot more sense. Gods, I wish she was here right now. She would be much more helpful in this. Oh, right. Right. I've got this. Three. All right. Mm. I will store this away. Puts everything underneath in a very nicely made container. So far, I very much right appreciate the respect that I've been treated with, Lord Vesrin. It's totally not because I'm afraid that you could snap me like a twig. I could, but I won't. And I thank you for that. Oh. Right. These potions of the fire resistance should be done before you lot leave for the day. Gee, yeah, Dune paid for... I believe it was two. And I've got one set aside for Miss Vithira for doing me a favor. If I have any left over afterwards, feel free to try and buy any, etc, etc. I will definitely have my stock up and going again soon. If there's anything special you need or want, I can make it. Well, within reason. Berserker's tonics, I still have some of those left, actually. I mm-hmm. believe I have one marksman's tonic left. I will be able to make some of my own tinctures, but... Just let me know whenever you come back. If you come back. Hopefully we will come back. You better come back or else I'm going to be very, very upset. Right. Wouldn't want all that research to be for nothing, now, would we? True. Very true. Okay, so I think I might have gotten the math properly. Oh, uh, let's see. Yet we got it. <laughs> yeah, it took a long time. Like, oh my god. All right, so... I feel like, all right, for all of that, all of that, we're looking at around maybe 600 to 800 gold. And the thing that's really getting it, honestly, has to be the tier. I know extra player shit is gonna be expensive. Besides, I wasn't actually planning on doing any of these uh, immediately. At least we're gonna see what's going on with the, uh, the thing, anyway. Oh, well, if you don't need it immediately, then... I'm no, not... no, no, it's just I, I figured I should get that lined up in case I need something. Um, yeah, and I mean, yeah. 800 gold, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the max I'm thinking at the moment, uh, based on what my little friend is telling me prior. It, it could be 600, though, to be honest. We might be lucky. I mean, it's probably, it's still probably cheaper than trying to do the fire one. That one needs an Efreeti Claw. Sorry, what? Eh, don't worry about it. No, I'll things. Maybe I'll be able to make a lesser, uh, is to create a lesser wind effect than a planar binding stone. Anyway. So, yeah, uh, besides the, uh, GD tier, I think the rest could be, like, two, three hundred? Well, with the rest of it. I believe, uh, yep, about 200, it would be. I'm gonna hand him 20 platinum. 
Oh, big spender. Now that I think about it, I should probably also order some, like, livestock, or have the others done that? Oh, no one's ordered any livestock yet. Uh, I think we biggest... did catch a pig. Should no, probably can... get a few more pigs for them. I could probably get a... Like some young pigs, probably. Yes, but... Yeah, I don't think the big grown-up one will fit in there. <laughs> yeah, but also I wonder... I never fully tried that. Hmm. Yeah, in for a nickel. Is there anything else anyone wanted to do before, you know, leaving from this place? I think I'm all good. All right, well, uh, don't die. I really would not like it if, you know, you paid for all this stuff. So, Mr. Gherkin, and, you know... Things went bad. I would also like it if we didn't die. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. Hang on. I gotta think of a good one. If, uh, you know, Veers, you're like, pull out the crystal, like, air is contemplating. You crush it. Oh, I got it. Oh, that. <laughs> there it got it. God dang you. Darn it. I had an actual thing. I could have tried to flirt. We don't need you flirting. Oh, shush. Sourpuss. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm the being flirted. Ooh. Hey, yo, oh, whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Crush the crystal whoa. and you whoa, come, whoa, I see that, whoa. Man. You come man. back here. Whoa. Hey, don't, don't worry about that man yet. Uh, you come back. Whoa there. <laughs> you, you crush the crystal and you were in this nice sort of cool environment, you know? It felt nice. And then you're immediately hit with a wave of heat. You come to and ah, right. This point. We're closer. This is not where we, I placed the. Yeah. Did, did somebody move the crystal somehow? What the fuck? And those, those with you know special eyes. Yes, you would see a special sort of. Figure standing at the end. Faded armor. Eh, this is interesting. It looks slightly familiar. Ah, uh, now I say familiar, but it's older, worn out. The colors are faded. It's black. Maybe a hint of golden red is still in there. Mm. A symbol long been sort of destroyed on the chest from claw marks and. Gorchin, it seems like this armor is seeing its fair share of combat and looking harder. That's a tiefling. Oh, that looks like... Ah, uh, maybe? I figure noticing you all turns finally and stops his pacing and begins to approach. Mm hmm. Good, it's taken you a lot. Whatever to get here. Can I look behind myself at this point? Is that. Yeah, you can look behind You, you mentioned before that there was a big gate. I'm just curious if, like, by looking back, do I see something similar to the dungeons? Does it feel like we were just, like, walked through that gate, or is this completely foreign? It looks like that gateway that you guys would have exited from the dungeon from. Mm -hmm. That's really far away. Hmm. You can see the faint, the faintest bit of it. It definitely does look like, yeah, somebody did somehow move that mm. thing. That size of a day, at least, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or the volcano moves. <laughs> or the volcano moves. I feel like the fact that the waypoints can be moved by someone else is uh, something to keep in mind. For future reference, yes. Yeah. But, uh, yes, the figure starts to approach him. Good. Good. I was worried how long you lot were going to take. I heard that you were coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? You lot probably know me as... Erebus. And that's where you're at today's session. Ooh. Damn, I was gonna, I was gonna say, hello! <laughs> Erebus, hello! <No>. Erebus, <laughs> been too long! <laughs> now I gotta decide whether or not I'm going to uh, crush someone's skull off a mace. Mm. <laughs> I mean, 
There is a better time to probably <laughs> What's do. the likelihood that Erebus is in the first dungeon we enter of the main four? Hmm. <laughs> We've already done one. I feel like the more interesting likelihood is he's going to be at all of them. I mean, four. That's what I was thinking. That's why I was making the joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Agree. 